My name is John Proust and I'm the Chief Executive Officer and Chairman of Japan Gold Corp. Japan Gold Corp is a mineral exploration company solely focused on exploring uh, for gold in Japan. This is on the basis of a 2012 change in the, the mining law in Japan that allowed for the first time in the country's history foreign companies to come in and own through wholly owned subsidiaries 100% of mineral exploration rights or mining rights. And that was the basis for us entering into Japan. Since 2012, uh, we've been very uh, focused on understanding uh, very uh, key areas of Japan that would be ripe for us to, uh, to move into. We've also been very focused on the uh, permitting and regulations that, as they've evolved and have tried very carefully to uh, provide input uh, to create the best uh, permitting and regulation system in the world uh, to attract not only us but uh, other foreign investors. Um, on the basis of that, we've applied for key areas throughout the country. Uh, we now have 17 significant projects throughout Japan, right from the northern island of Hokkaido to northern Honshu to the southern island of Kyushu. Putting the, the, the portfolio of projects together has really been a very significant achievement. Um, our portfolio consists of 17 projects, four of which are lithocap signatures, uh, hopefully signatures uh, evidencing porphyry mineralization, and the rest have been epithermal um, uh, opportunities. Our focus is very much high-grade gold in underground settings, um, in epithermal um, uh, settings. And so certainly Milestone's portfolio number one has been the build. Our team has been um, assembled over the last uh, couple of years and it's really a, a quite a significant team with strong Japanese representation. Uh, one of our directors is the former chief executive of, of Sumitomo Corporation's Global Mineral Division, uh, Mitsuhiko Yamada. And um, in, within the last year, we also brought on Sumitomo Metal Mining, uh, their head of, uh, former head of global exploration. Um, he joined us uh, as our general manager of exploration for Japan. Interestingly enough, in Japan, there was a significant discovery in 1981 uh, by the Metal Mining Agency of Japan, which was the Hishikari Mine. This was a blind discovery of a gold mine that is almost unparalleled in, in global uh, comparison. Um, the resource, eight and a half million ounces um, at a head grade of 47.3 grams per ton. So a remarkable grade. Um, and this is really the evidence of what, and what propels us going forward in that blind discoveries can be made in a country like Japan that's had just a wonderful uh, history of, of gold mining. The other important element to note that's sort of underpinning um, uh, the company's achievements uh, were that there was a closure of gold mines in 1943 towards the end of the Second World War. This was by government uh, decree or by government declaration and many of those mines never reopened after the Second World War. And so under our portfolio of 17 projects, we have 40 high grade underground gold mines or, or workings that were closed in 1943, have never been reopened and there's virtually been no drilling to, uh, to understand what might be under or around those, those areas. Well, our team really consists of um, uh, a number of geologists. I believe our number is 10 geologists now. These are geologists that have come from all over the world. Um, not only Japanese geologists, but we've got geologists from Canada, Australia, uh, Indonesia, Philippines, Mongolia. So it's quite a collection, international collection. Uh, that's wonderful to have that synergy. Um, we've also uh, been very fortunate in that we've purchased three of our own drill rigs and we've collaborated initially with Sumitomo's wholly owned subsidiary, Sumitomo Metal Mining's wholly owned subsidiary, Sumiko, to act as our drilling contractor running our drill rigs. Um, we also have an operational office uh, in Tokyo. So we have an operational office in Tokyo and we have a fully operational base in the northern island of Hokkaido. And I could see us replicating that probably in Kyushu as well um, later on in the year. My key message to investors is that Japan is a very unique destination. We are the first mover in Japan. 
We've very carefully gone through the country. We've assembled a portfolio that we think is outstanding. And my message is to really come along with us to come into a first world country that's got a wonderful history of, of gold mining in the past, but also this, this hiatus, this break of exploration for the last 40 years uh, or more uh, since um, the Hishikari discovery, or the last 80 years since 1943 when most of these mines were shut down. Come with us, make new discoveries using modern technology, and let's build a significant mining company together. You know, the one-to-one -one mining conference, this is my second att attendance. The first one was the Cape Town conference earlier in the year. Outstanding. The organization has been fantastic. The quality of the, of, of, of the participants, of the audience has been just uh, really fantastic. And coming from all uh, levels of, of investment or collaborators from, from the mining uh, side as well. So I'm, I'm just thrilled with it. I'll be participating in as many one-to-one -one conferences as our, our board decides, so I'm looking forward to attending more. Thank you.